Hello everybody, welcome back to The Last Promise, Chapter 21. I'm Ethel Zenith, and this is Loyalty and Betrayal. I guess some Takumi will show up, because he is Betrayal. But up. Alright, Le'Veon, I'm trusting in you to find the king and help protect him. Can't let Magnus get to him first, no matter what. Of course, I will take my leave then. Hey, Kellick. I've sent the messengers to everyone you told me to. I also sent, message to, sent a message to Chief Haas of the Fora, per Siegfried's request. Siegfried says Chief Haas is a strong ally. Good. Speaking of Siegfried, how's he doing? Still a bit anxious. He's been acting odd as of late, but it's getting worse and worse. Do you think his time in prison hurt him? Probably, but I'm not sure it's just that. I mean, he's always been sort of a reckless commander. I met him in the early days of his rebellion. Notice he usually just stormed fortresses without much thought of the consequences. And even now, it's as if he's willing to throw any amount of lives away as long as he defeats Magnus. Hey, d don't talk about him like that. So, you're asking, you know, what do you think's wrong with him? Kellek tells you, and then you get upset for Kellek to... Okay, this is just like Anakin's being stupid right now. It's not that bad. Siegfried's only lost one battle. We've dominantly had success. I'm sure he's just under the weather. We should help him out. Hey, but what are you guys talking about? Ah, you snuck up on me. All right, Anakin, let's go help the wounded. What? Help the wounded? That's when you want to... Let's go. Uh, okay. Sorry, Sean. Gotta run. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. done my part now let the commander go now this guy does he look familiar he should he came in with Ben in the early days of this mode I can't do that if you're lying master Gallico won't have any mercy on me come with me once we finish this mission we will release your commander it wasn't part of the deal scoundrel our terms were clear don't feign ignorance oh but I was informed that your comrade Ben did not follow through with the plan to the end he remains with the rebels. You're changing the subject. Do you think I'm a fool? Thus he technically broke our contract. It is directly related to our discussion. This is not a discussion. You will release Captain Drake on your honor. I'm afraid I cannot. Master Gallagher is in charge of prisoners. If we lose this battle, he will definitely not allow your captain to be released. Backstep. This is how Magnus does its business. I'm going to destroy the rebel army, and after that, I'll be back for your life. Okay, Risk is upset. Commander Leopold, you've grown more than I anticipated. D General Levion, what are you doing here? H how did you find us? I have much to explain. First, please recognize my alliance with you. I can't imagine you ever being our enemy, Levion. After all, you were once one of Blaine's greatest generals. So wait, does Levion have a whole Mycin thing going for him? I guess, maybe. General Zane. To his dying breath, he was thinking of Blaine. Scum, how could you kill him? How could you... My apologies, your majesty. He had become deafened by the death of his comrades. It's a terrible loss, but somehow we must move on. The rebellion is coming here as we speak. However, I fear Magnus may soon find this location as well. They can't possibly find us so soon. They're hidden by the trees, surrounded by mountains. Far from civilization. Fear not, we shall protect you when the time comes. And of course that means that this is our battlefield. I'm fine, Anakin. I apologize for anything I may have said. Sometimes war gets to us, myself especially, I suppose. You don't have to apologize, General. I just want to make sure you're okay. And you don't have to say General, but you do anyway. It's proper etiquette, being respectful. So was apologizing. Touche. It's just as Kellogg thought. Risk did it. I've had another take his commanding role, but since he left, he could easily relay information on where we're going or anything else. I never saw this coming. Neither did I. Risk was with us for a while, but never fought in the main division. He had us fooled. None of us expected him to kill the night guards and set fire to our supplies. We can figure Risk out later. For now, let's just hurry to the king's hideout. We have to protect the king. Uh, one sec. I am just realizing 
I put my sound lower. There we are. Hey, <laughs> we found them. We found the king. Once we kill him, an entire nation will be ours. I will be one of its leaders. Come, soldiers, for the glo for the future, for our future glory, kill the king. I think I'll let you slim chance, Magnus. All right, everyone, hold out. Can't have too many troops deployed so far from their base. The recruits in other divisions should be here soon. If we can stand our ground, our forces may outnumber their own before long. Until then, we must survive. So this is a survive chapter. We start in a clump up here. Uh, we need to protect the king and Leopold. Um, his wyvern lords are pretty good fighters. Leopold especially has... Look at that, 22 defense. Oh, so sweet. A little bit low on resistance, but that's about it. But look at the number of enemies we have here. We have mountains up top and forests. Big clump of forest in the middle. Mountains on the bottom. But outside of that terrain, it's just a big open field full of enemies. We have Risk over here. A swordmaster. Pretty good stats for level 1 swordmaster. And he has the Phoenicius, an immortal sword, so... An A-rank sword with 10 might, 90 hit, 9 weight, and infinite durability. This is a good sword. <laughs> Basically, so long as you have 9 or more con, this should replace any sword you use outside of a Lance Reaver or like a range sword like uh, the Flame Burge. Or something with a special effect. It's just that good. Now, Risk, we need to have Ben talk to in order to recruit. We also have to worry about this Magnian with Solstice, which is a rebalanced Luna Tome. It has 80 hit, uh, but 12 weight and no crit. Now, this is at least somewhat more balanced, because you had the uh, normal FE7 version with like 30 crit or something, and it was insane. I think it was even 45. And you had the uh, uh, FE8 version, which was awful because it had like 30 hit or something. You have the boss, Elagor. Now, we win if we kill Elagor. Chapter ends, and we also get a secret. Not like a bonus chapter or anything, but just literally the secret item. But we have reinforcements that will join us on turn 7. So we need to hold out until turn 7, at which point we can kill the boss. That said, with how many enemies are between us and the boss, it's going to be a problem. This warrior is pretty threatening. Uh, the sniper down here has a silver bow, so he's pretty, pretty threatening. The sage, decent stats. He has speed wings, so we can take... And aside from that, everyone else is just pretty standard. Pretty much the usual. There's not really any point in bringing all fairies today. Decent as he is, he's not really a real combat unit. Sean's going to be really useful here. Should probably keep giving Yue some experience. It's my only shaman. He actually has a chance to be pretty good. Didn't have any extra dark magic. Okay. Now, who did I give that amulet to? I think it's still on Karina? Yes, it is. Uh, but because she has the Delphi shield already, I don't know if she really needs that. And speaking of having the Delphi shield, uh, we can grab that from Inanna and give it to Ben. Lirin, Lirin, Lirin. I want you to be useful. B rank lances, okay. Okay. 
Hanana can use Silver Lance. What did I give that spear to? Did I give it to Karina? Yes, I did. Okay. Use that in the... Yes, here it is. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. What is your con? 11. Use a Mithril Blade without penalty. Use a Hand Axe. I mean, honestly, you can just use most of our axes just fine. And a Javelin just in case you need to use a Lance for some reason. I don't know of any other item you need, so let's give you an elixir. Do I have any physics staves yet? No, I do not. And this isn't a Fog of War map. What's your con? 12. Nope, steel axes are 15. Just give you that iron lance because you can. Maybe the steel lance. Wait, 13. Yeah, that should be fine. Fire, air caliber, hero's flare. Itsuke is going to promote this chapter, I'm pretty sure. Actually, Itsuke might want the hero's flare more. Because he has the higher magic to make better use of it. Yeah, he's not a paladin. Exactly, he is just a knight errant. Whatever that means. How many swords we want to give to you? Onigiri, why not? Because that... I still think it's... Why did they... I don't know. Like, isn't Onigiri, like, rice balls, basically? Something? I don't know. Who should get that amulet, though? Look at the skill and speed. Possibly Lyrin. It's not not giving it to anyone else. Actually, no. Maybe Yue could actually use it better. I mean, Siegfried. Take the short spear. Why am I holding on to a single? use Iron Lance. I'll trade it in for the four gold. And I don't think there's anything else I really want to do here. Well, this looks fine. So what I want to do immediately is rush south to take out all of these enemies and then push up west. have our flyers over the mountains on the left side. Cavalry should go uh, straight down and then march around and through the forests. Yeah, let's do it like that. And let's deploy Luke. But we also get Levion at the start of the chapter. He returns with his Silver Sword and Dragon Axe, his C rank support with Kellic, and his amazing base stats, which now are suddenly seeming a little bit less amazing now that some other units are approaching them. But it's still 20 strength, 20 defense. He's a little slow at 16 speed. 
but he is not a bad unit by any means. Really powerful kicking music. Where is this from? I don't know. I'm sure it's from somewhere. Actually, maybe I can move Emma to give Ben some support. Up, miss, up. I'm making the executive decision just turn off animations for this battle because it's going to be a long one. It's going to be just another battle completely full of, well, just full of and freaking short bows, of course. It's going to be another battle full of enemy phase shenanigans. Huh, I never gave him a sword. Oh well. Not like he needs one. There's an axe reaver anyway. Burn, burn. It's see a time. Kevin, I think, will no longer be doubling much of anything. But he still has 13 speed, which is good for a general. I just realized Kevin has 6 luck. And I also just realized that Levion's stats are almost Kevin level in strength and defense. It's insanely good. The short bow, so we can have some 1 2 range. Liam's defense. Uh, it's not great, but it's. Passable. It's same as Karina's. Well, let's do this. Then we can have Kellic take the forest with support from Karina. And I think this is where we use up the last of the Flame Burge. Mmm, look at those level ups. Just need more defense. And then you will have gotten pretty much everything you need. This was safe from the warrior, right? Yes it was, okay. Just having to make sure, because that warrior and his bow could be issues in the future. Let's join the Paladin party down south. The power is within, the power is within you. Just gonna move him a little bit more forward. What's your speed? 11? 11. Okay rather not walk him straight into death. Siegfried can stay back and go whichever way we need him to. Nice crit. Yeah, all these guys are going to attack Kellic, but because Kellic has his supports activated with Karina, as well as the forest, he's gonna have a pretty decent time dodging most attacks. Now, I am aware of Killick's history with 20 to 30% shots. That's only screwed me over a couple times. I actually get to listen to the enemy phase music now that we've turned off animations. Oop. Here come the flyers. And these Pegasus Knights have like, what, 20 something hit points? That is pretty weak. Delphi Shields would have done work if they were. the archers were even a threat, which they're not. Mages can't hit. Mmm, 
Corbin. Corbin, my buddy, my man. Good, you're dodging now. Okay. Had me worried for a second. Yeah, with this enemy phase, you can see why I turned off animations. Oh yes, they have physics staves. Why can't I have a physics staff? Your Majesty, Magnus has come. I will hurry you to safety. Lead the fighting to the others. Let us go, then. The battlefield is no place for a king. As you wish. Goodbye. So now we just need to survive. Because the king is safe. Who do we have here? Yeah, these Pegasus Knights, I don't know why they're even here. They can do a little chip damage and that's about it. 22 hit points, 7 defense. Half my army can one-shot these guys. UA, kill them with the moon! Skill res. Can you do better than that? Surely you can. Powers within you. I might be able to double that shaman. Of course, with 11 speed, that's quite the ask. Yeah, I can't quite double. Levion sees no problems with this. Now, this map is one of the times where Nothung was actually quite useful, especially with this sage the Solstice, Druid, and the boss. Nothung is able to one or two shot pretty much all of them. And that is very helpful. Speaking of helpful, we have a level 19 Itsuke. Mmm, getting defense. Love tanky mages. Learn to poke down one of the Pegasus Knights. That's what they're there for. To give Laren some experience. Why not? Come on. <sighs> Everyone's gotta miss twice, don't they? They have to miss dodge and then hit when they when they would have otherwise one shot. That's just how this game works, isn't it? Kill them with the moon. Wow, you is level 15, and he still gained like 60 experience from that one attack. That is good. That is good stuff right there. Corbin barely not one-shotting. Makes me sad. But it gives Sia some staff rank. This is where it gets a bit problematic. We have a lot of mages, so Kevin's at risk, kind of. A lot of archers, so our flyers are at risk without the Delphi shields. And this warrior is a pain. The warrior is a pain indeed. So, let's use the Nothung. Once again, the classic. Oh, he was on a mountain, too. Nothung, the classic, point me at your problem and I will destroy it. <coughs> Everyone needs one of those. Just a way to solve a problem. It's the rifle bow. Um, not the best hit rates, but it did its job. It's a hit rate, but it's not a kill. That's a kill. Level up, there's luck. <laughs> of all the stats to increase, only luck. On any normal Valkyrie, that would be exceedingly depressing. But for Emma, that's... I'm strangely okay with this. What's this warrior gonna do? Eight. Hmm... Oh yeah, that's right, there's a Devil Axe fighter here. Let's 
kill the mage. Kevin should be able to take on that warrior. Problem is all of these other enemies. Ben's able to one shot there. He's able to easily to okay, so Ben will be fine. Pop top. And level up. Skill, speed, defense. <coughs> I really want to have Kellex stay in the mountains. I mean, with with odds like that, I think he needs to. Yeah, let's have him use the last of his flame burst to one shot an archer. Okay, Nana can one shot, but what's her resistance like? Not good. Her defenses are not up to par. Don't know if she can really be trusted here to survive. So we're gonna javelin some of these guys. I just realized who's in range. Oh, they, they can take a hit. It's not bad. Could it be better? That's a... Mm, that's not good. Yeah, so what we need to do is give Ben the Axe Reaver and retreat Karina away. That Axe Reaver makes him suck against that Mercenary and that Myrmidon, but at least it means he shouldn't get hit and one-shot by the, by the Devil Axe. The Devil Axe has horrible hit rates. Good. Like, that's the thing I was afraid of, was getting killed by the Devil Axe. He took a lot of damage from the Mercenary and Myrmidon, but... Taking out that Devil Axe was important. I think the Bishop attacks me here. But he might. Oh, come on, Kevin. Nope. Okay, Ben is still one-rounding everything under the sun. <laughs> I am okay with this so long as it doesn't lead him to an early death. Oh, Bishop decides to attack Kevin. Okay, sure. Reinforcements have arrived. The rest of the troops are on the way. Reinforcements have arrived. What is that from? Yeah, that was more dangerous than it needed to be. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe it needed to be that dangerous. <laughs> uh, Risk shouldn't move as long as I don't get into his range. I can recruit him next turn. I could recruit him this turn if I really wanted to, but I would rather not die this turn. I hope you'll understand. I think Air Caliber is best, and then I'll weaken him enough for pretty much anyone else to get the kill. Itsuke can't get in range. But Corbin can. Corbin can also miss an 81 and get hit by a 33. That's what he can do. Good job, Corbin. I don't know why I expected anything of you. Just heal Liam. So he needs that. Yeah, Liren can't get the kill. No one else is in range. My goodness, what is up with this? I do not like this, Sam. I am. I do not like this choke point. So Tam can kill the archer. Liam can kill the bishop. Siegfried can kill this guy. This guy can't reach. So that would leave Kevin. We need to finish the Magnian, and that's a 60%er. Actually, if Kevin comes up here, can he do anything? Kevin can kill 
either of those. Actually, if Kevin can kill that mage, Siegfried can come around and kill one of these guys. But then that puts him in range of risk. And Nana? Did Nana kill one of these? Of course not. And Air Caliber actually deals effective damage versus Kekasai. Emma can go there. Karina could probably get a kill. And then Ben can recruit Risk? Is that what I want? Let's see, if we recruit Risk, then Risk can kill the Solstice Druid? I think that's my plan for for the mission. My plan for the turn. And then we just have to hope that we don't lose anyone. I mean, if we mend up Ben, he should be safe. And we increase our weapon rank. Really worried about Corbin, though. So I think I need to kill this guy with Tamako. And I need to make sure Tamako will be safe. Level 5. Wow, only magic. That's actually a pretty poor level up for you. Kevin kills you. And level ups in the pro levels up in the process. Only hit points! What is this? The turn of bad level ups? Apparently. Not a fan of those odds at all. Why did I decide this was a good idea? Why did I decide to do the turn this way? There's six more enemies and like, I guess six more units that can kill them. But five more and then we actually need to recruit Risk though. Recruit Risk, we need to kill that druid particularly. And I don't want to get too close though to the rest of these. I guess that guy only has 12 speed. Huh. Kevin actually outspeeds. But if we leave Kevin too open, then he just dies too. That's a problem. I mean, okay, I think we just promote Itsuke this turn. What's one more level up gonna do for him versus what's one more point of move and his promo bonus is going to do for him? Boom, look at that. And he can use staves, not that I gave him one to start with. Yeah, I really wish Liren, first of all, had better hit rate, second of all, did three more points of damage. The fact that Inanna can't reliably kill any of these guys is a real problem for me. I guess Liam can get that kill. Ooh, steel bow. Um, if I had a silver lance, I'd be able to one shot. So instead, the Nothung will get this kill. Wait, way to not level up. Good job. Always knew you had it in you. Silver Lance? Silver Lance will get the kill. Iron Sword can get the kill. Not as dangerously low, though, but that's okay. So we get this kill, we move in with Ben, the Mage, and the Mercenary. Then Inanna just has to survive a 25 damage thunder. She might not do that, actually. I may have made a mistake. So 
It doesn't let me down, does it? Okay. Okay, let's talk to Risk. Risk, I can't believe you. You don't need to. I don't expect someone like you to understand my thoughts. Is the captain okay? They continue to keep him prisoner at the palace. Figures. What? Figures Magnus wouldn't keep their word. I have the slightest sense of honor. You're saying that you expected this all along? I'd hope for better, but... You know, my best chance for rescuing the captain is in defeating Magnus. Otherwise, they have no obligation to do anything. You've really fallen backwards into things, haven't you? Frustrated. Nothing else. Can't you take out your frustration on Magnus, perhaps? Instead of us? Throw away everything I've done and choose another path? I don't know if I truly have such option, but I don't care anymore. I only care about one thing. Magnus is through... Magnus is thorough and brutal annihilation. He's as tough as ever, but at least he's back on our side. I'll have to explain the whole situation to the commanders later. Does what's where I move to really make a difference? I don't think so. Risk can't even take out that guy without relying on a... He can't take out anyone without having to rely on a crit. Okay. Okay now. This is... Uh, th things may have gotten worse. Inanna might actually... Okay. Okay. Think rationally, think clearly. What can we do? Bring Risk back. Take out that guy. No, Risk can take out this guy. If we... I'm just saying, maybe I would just rescue Inanna back. Risk kill the mage and Kellic kill the mercenary. And then we hope for good dodges. I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, I don't really see any other way around this. There's a distinct chance someone dies here. And not much I can do to prevent that. So, since we're through with most of the enemies, um, let's turn on our animations. Okay. Come on, Risk. Don't get hit. Okay, Risk knows how to successfully flip coins. That's progress. And Kellic takes his spot. Her spot, rather. Uh, Kellic's also learning how to dodge 30%. Okay. And now... Oh, that's a good level up. And S rank swords, that'll really help. Why am I pressing tab? What will tab do? Nothing. Okay. The real issue here is that I need to stall four more turns in order to get my reinforcements, and they're pretty important ones, too. Don't get doubled, don't get doubled. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So no one's attacking Ben. Everyone's attacking Risk. I'm okay with this, because it means Ben should survive. Or not. Which magic shall I destroy you with? Unique. No! Inconceivable! Um... Don't tell me that ends the chapter. I think that ends the chapter. And we're back! Ugh. You don't know how many extra tries it's taken, how long it's been just to get back to a successful position on turn three. Now obviously this is a very different position that I'm in. Uh, for one, everyone 
well, I say everyone, I mean Howard and Karina and Kevin are badly injured. And Liren, but who cares about Liren? Uh, Itsuke is not promoted yet, and he's almost level 20, so I'm just gonna uh, let him chip one more person, probably. Yeah, this has gone pretty mediocrely, to say the least. And, okay, this is the second best run that I've had. The, arguably the third best run. First, sec, first or second might have been the first run that I did. Uh, this is the third best run because I had another good run that was fine, but then before I went to record, I accidentally reloaded a save state and lost it all. Because I was adjusting screen size and I wanted to make sure that my screen would have worked. So I changed the screen size, not realizing ahead of time what that meant for me, the power is just in you. what horrible things that would do to me, and I realized I was very sad afterwards. So Itsuke is now level 20. Still not gaining defense, but he gained magic earlier. I'm trying to find a place to make Yue useful. It's proving more difficult than I anticipated. Siegfried still has to kill this bishop with Notham. Oh, and I changed my strategy. Instead of sending my paladins down south and then wrapping around, I decided to bring most everyone to the left and then just dealt with the units down south with some other units, like Liam, who has been nailing low percentage hits all day that that you have not seen at all. There was one run where he hit two 27% shots. I don't even know how to make that up. It's, it's really impressive what's been happening off-camera that no one can see, so no one has any reason to believe that it's actually been happening. Yes, quite. Anyway, we will need to heal Howard and Karina. Who actually has a good hit chance. Oh, and I changed my strategy also. I just gave the amulet to Kellic just to make sure that the random 10 to 20% hits turned into 0 and 10% hits, and I assume that's been helping quite a bit. I don't have any hard evidence, I can't say for sure if it has been helping. Ooh, nice dodge there, Laren. But it's what I did. I also know that I'm like one turn away from a Laren not a support. Oh, I can get that right now probably won't because I probably need them to attack. But it's a possibility. Speaking of possibilities, it's possible that Kevin kills this mage? Good. Good, Kevin. Getting a better level up than last time when you only got hit points. Let's see, there's five enemies left. Kevin is now in range of death, so he needs to be Healed via mend. Karina and or Howard will need to be healed as well. Depending on where I put them. Corbin still can't get the job done. So it's up to not Karina, because Karina still... Howard? Ben? Ben could get the kill. How's Inanna looking? Not great. Th this honestly is probably just a chance for Kellic. For massive overkill with a 25 damage swing from the Silver Sword with a 100% hit chance because Kellic. And there's his S rank swords again.
you know, all of this will pretty much be a case of mopping up and hoping I don't mess up in any big ways. Since I'll probably have messed up in a big way already. You know what? Spear for you. I don't even care anymore. Just get me out of this chapter. It's only three turns in and I already won out. <laughs> That's how frustrating this chapter is. Mend for Howard. Who then charges in and gets this kill. And hopefully doesn't die to risk. And what do you know? Inanna does get the Lyran support. Lyran, are you okay? What is it, Inanna? How come you acted like you were leaving last time? Inanna, you're old enough to take care of yourself. I can't baby you forever. Baby me? But how are you babying me? You know, watching over you, asking how you're doing. How's that babying? I, I don't understand. I just wanted to be with you. Yeah, that support's pretty lame and makes them seem like total crybabies. Not a big fan. To be perfectly honest. Paladin survives. Liren survives the Paladin. Oh, Risk doesn't move. Well, if I would have known that earlier... Oh yes, and the enemy now begins to get reinforcements. Cavalier, 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 and Cavalier. I didn't know that Sage doesn't move either. But the boss moves. Because of course the boss moves. Because why wouldn't the boss move? I ask of you. I mean, I can't really get Ben in a position where he's not still in range. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Talk to Risk, recruit him. Risk comes over, kills the shaman using Phoenicius. Then we rescue Ben away. And we rescue drop using Le'Veon. Probably. Ah, uh, Liam. There we go, now he's safe. Now I can continue on with the insanity that is this chapter. I really don't like leaving this guy alive, because I keep feeling like he's gonna move at me at any time. Which he very well might. I don't control these enemies. I mean, obviously not, they're enemies. I have no say in the matter. What they decide to do. Livion, how about that? You don't manage to get a kill. Okay. But Karina, with the support, how do you fare? Not the best, but you do two-shot the sniper. Maybe I can offer emotional support. Itsuke can promote now. Now you're a sage. Yeah. I would have tried doing exactly the same thing as I did before, but first of all, I didn't really like how it turned out. Second of all, I don't even remember what I did before. Because once you get into this point where you have so many decisions, that's a lot of skill growth, I just noticed. Why is it that Itsuke got so much skill and Sia didn't? On promotion, or did Sia get that much skill and just had such low base skill that it didn't matter? Is that what happened? I would be tempted to believe that that's what happens. Corbin with the axe, 
Magni and Paladin with the Javelin. Corbin wins. And Liren should be able to get this snipe. Yes, indeed. For another kill. Hmm, getting close. It's level 17. Stats are decent. <laughs> Stats, that's another thing. I've passed up on so many, so many good level ups. Because I, I had a time where both Siegfried and Kellick got completely perfect level ups. But did I keep them? No. Because those runs did not go so well beyond that. The power, is the power is within you. These green units are gonna get in my way and probably suicide against the boss. And who knows, maybe they'll actually kill the boss. I certainly don't know what's gonna happen. But I'm expecting the worst. So let's see who's right. 50-50, nice dodge. And this guy should go down next turn to pretty much anything by Karina. Solstice. Yep, enemy cavaliers love charging forward. Power of supports, amulets, and the like. And then the power of weapon triangle advantage. Yes, there are two more turns we need to wait before we kill the boss because our allies don't spawn in until turn 7. And I checked ahead and we don't get them if we end the mission early. And they're kind of important as well. Yeah. I think one of them even has a heaven seal. I forget where you get the second heaven seal. Maybe it's next chapter. I honestly don't remember. I just remember having a promoted Sean by next chapter, because next chapter is kind of Sean's big moment. But I also could have just used my very first heaven seal on Sean and not Kellic. Then I used my second heaven seal on Kellic. Whenever that was. I hope I didn't accidentally somehow miss a second heaven seal. Tell you that would be real bad. So what Howard can do is not one round the sage, because why would he be able to do that? What he can do is chip him down with a rifle bow, because he's been exceedingly good at coin flips, apparently, and that's good enough. One hit out of two is honestly good enough for what I need him, I think. I certainly would have liked both hits, but we don't often get what we want. Have a Lance Reaver. And I really hope Le'Veon can take care of the sniper, because if he can't, I've just opened up my southern flank to a very brutal awakening. Very brutal awakening, a very rude death. Oh yeah, Kellogg's still been getting good level ups though. He actually has a decent amount of defense now. Who would have thought? I'm killing with the spear because this keeps me out of the boss's range. Karina, on the other hand, has been somewhat disappointing outside of strength. Speed wings. Should be able to kill him with the silver sword. There we go. Problem solved. 
I mean, the fact that you look at Le'Veon's stats and you say, yeah, he can't actually solo the endgame, just goes to show how hard this endgame is, how brutal it is. Because his stats are pretty dang insane. If I do say so myself. Gosh dang it, I need to kill this guy at range too. Hmm. Itsuke can probably do it, but he needs help. The resistance doesn't need anything. Actually, who can do it is Siegfried. Let me rescue drop him away. Risk. Get that 21%. There we go. Goodbye. Do 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 Another basically perfect level up outside of resistance. And we get the soul system. And we do a little take drop action. And suddenly we're fine. Okay, maybe fine's not the best word to describe the situation we're in, but we're not doing too bad. We've controlled the rest of the map. Just had to double check. Yeah, we're controlling the rest of the map. We're in the home stretch. We just have to Face off against reinforcements, which we should be able to do. Everyone has reasonable defense and good matchups against them. The only person potentially in threat is UA, and he has enough speed and defense to survive that. Which is the heck of it, I can also heal him at one hit point, because that totally matters. The power is within you. We motivate Siegfried to, I don't know, place him here so we can charge the boss next turn if we need to. Keep building the Tamiko Sia support, I guess. Okay, Corbin, uh, I don't think you die here because, well, you have 50 hit points, and I think only one of them can attack in melee, which means only one sword. Still good. Still useful. Getting defense is very good. <laughs> Iron Lance. Yeah, I'm, I'm running out of things to say, honestly, about this map. It's... Mm, I guess I can start on my thoughts about this map. It's not very good. This map is frustrating. It's annoying. It's an Awakening-style map where, the, where it just sends hordes of enemies at you. You could slowly draw them out they'll pile in, and then you have a really strong player phase. Don't steal my experience. Come on, green units. At least that's it. And here come the other reinforcement squads. Mm, that's your movement. Ooh, you I can clear out this, and then you can do some work in the southern group. Wow. is also still managing to dodge pretty well. Oh. 
think he's gotten hit once all day. Granted, I don't think he's ever had to dodge once all day, aside from there. The power is within you. The power is within you, so do a good job. So we can clear out this fighter. Sia and Tamako, I'm pretty sure can definitely clear out the other fighters. Arch the other fighter, the archer and the mercenary shouldn't be too too big of a deal either. Oh yeah, Sia even doubles this guy. Let's just heal up UA, probably. It's probably better. Hmm. Then we can send... Kevin actually doubles someone. Congratulations, Kevin. <laughs> Andy crits for good measure. Thank you, Kevin. Still useful. Still the champ. Still the champ. I guess I don't need to do that. Maybe I do. Let's just have Le'Veon take him out. If we can keep taking out these reinforcements as they spawn, we shouldn't have to worry about them running around and messing with our units. And we can position ourselves so that next turn... Oh, that's a problem. That's an annoying problem. We should be able to position ourselves so that next turn we can kill the boss. Except he actually has a lot of movement, and Siegfried, for some reason, only has seven. Yeah, that's not annoying at all, is it? I mean, I think Kellick is probably the one who can most easily kill the boss. Or Karina. Okay, Karina's got this boss killing thing in the bag, so we just need to make sure that no one else dies to these reinforcements today. Oh, Liren's odds again. Not that great, I remember right. About the bottom. Okay, so in front of the third guy is the point that I need to pay attention to. Oh, come on now. I guess that is outside of Ben's reach. Okay, Nana can... She can kill this guy with a Silver Lance, I suppose. Yeah, Nana kills this guy with the Silver Lance, then Kellic. Karina, and Ben, and some other fourth unit, probably Corbin or Howard, you and Liam, uh, can take care of, no, let's, let's use Howard, take out a different one. To... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. Kellick. Pretty sure Kellick should be able to get there, no problem. With the Karina support, he'll be fine to take out that enemy without having to waste uses of the Lance Reaver or Silver Sword. Don't know why I'm so protective of those weapons. Uh, wait a second, I'm just realizing my mistake now. Because I can't kill both of these. Can I? I don't even a rifle bow. Liren gets this kill. 
easily enough. Yeah, I think I can only kill one of them. But that should be enough. Ooh, nice level up, finally. It's about time. I think Lyran keeps bouncing back and forth between horrible levels and amazing levels. But if I can kill one of these, the last remaining one shouldn't be that much of a threat. And then the way it'll work out is I can kill the boss next turn after getting all my fresh recruits, which are like five units I get. Or something stupid like that. Yeah, because I should have placed a unit with a range attack right there to kill that Magnum. I might be able to do a rescue drop shenanigan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, but that doesn't actually help me at all. Never mind. I'll just kill this guy with a steel lance. Get Corbin to S rank lances pretty soon. Actually, who can survive a round against the boss? Because if the boss... He's not even that strong, really. And then we have the Sorcerer class, which is a custom class. It's basically just a druid with a different sprite. And overworld sprite's the same, which is different battle sprite. Oh yeah, Mr. 13 Resistance is fine against the boss. Uh, the guy who killed the boss last time. And if we do that... Actually, what we could even do... Why am I even so worried about this? We kill him with Howard... Then we rescue Howard away. Mm-hmm. That's the plan, and then we have the boss completely alone. We have our solution. Any supports we want to build, I don't particularly care. That's it. Enemy phase. Other phase. Yeah, these these guys are trying to charge in and try to steal the boss kill. Please tell me they actually do spawn at the start of turn 7. Yes, they do. Alright, men. Let's show our enemies the ferocity of the Thean warriors. Chief Haas, everyone, how did you find us? Well, I guess now's not the time to discuss that. We could use some reinforcements. Oh, the cavalry stopped. So, UA. Good job, UA. Good job, indeed. So, you might recognize some of these units. Ooh, plus defense. We have Arthur. Again, like I said, he has good growths, but horrible availability. Pause. Not the best, now that we've got him back, but he's still solid. Storm, with the Stormbringer back in full strength once again. Comes with an Orion Bolt. He's a little weak, but we can definitely train him up if we want to. And Liquid joins the fray because we battled him with Haas in Chapter 9 and didn't kill him, which was admittedly too close because he used the Killing Edge. <laughs> we get Liquid, and he is a subpar Berserker. He has good strength and speed, and that's about it. Not that any of these units are particularly good, but Storm and Haas are required in order to get the Emblem Bow, which is required to get the final Gaiden map. No, not the final guide map, but last or second to last guide map, 23 double X. So I was not going to continue without them because the main point of this Let's Play is to 
play every single map. I even did the route split. Mm, yes, goodbye. But because I didn't get them for being the map too quickly, the power is just in you. well, I needed them. Let's say, let's say that much. This is one time when it's like, well, I might be playing Iron Man, but when I'm recording and don't have a chance to recruit, a, if I miss a recruitment, that's different than losing a unit in combat. Already said that as much with Lyrin and Zack, and you know how useful they've been, Lyrin. Oh, well, Lyrin's been fine, but what level is Kellic? Five. She's level seven. Anyone else who can get this kill who's would appreciate it more? Eh, probably not Siegfried. Larian Wood, she definitely can't reach. I mean Kellic is a guaranteed kill. Actually he has no Sprawtu, so he might not even be guaranteed. But then uh <laughs> Which magic shall I destroy you with? But even if Kellic doesn't get the kill, if the Nosferatu hits, it's like, why go through all the effort and make a custom sprite just for an enemy sub boss you only meet once? I don't know. And again, the developers are weird and go through a lot of random efforts all the time. Got an Elfire Tome. And we got secret number three. Live life with an open mind and never let it close. For all you know, it may never reopen. Thank goodness they're retreating. Seriously. Sorry, we're late. Some of the new recruits held us back and we got, we got caught in a skirmish. We're now clearing out the enemy. Good job. Have the enemy soldiers surrender if possible. We don't want them living to fight another day. Yes, sir. Dot, dot, dot. Lightning bolts. Dead, 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 dead. It's him! It's Gallagher! It will make him pay. No, don't! But you said it's true, we don't want to get a you don't want to get in a fight with him. General Siegfried, how are you? Don't feign friendship with me, General Magnus. You won this battle, but you won't be so lucky forever, Siegfried. Shh. Since you're wondering, I didn't kill you back then because I didn't have orders to. That and I was still a little weak. Weak, wait. How did you how did you know what I was thinking? Strong at heart, weak in mind? Your mind is so frail and so very easy to see through. Siegfried, when the time we the time when we meet again will not come to pass. Farewell, rebel. <laughs> He's so strong. It's like power is radiating from him. He and Siegfried will never meet again. What does that mean? I hope you read your mind. In his presence I can feel the ether around him. We best watch our backs. We have no idea what he's plotting. Ugh, I'm so tired. Let's not worry about it for now. We'll rest on it later. Right now, we need to talk to the King of Blaine. I am General Siegfried of Solemn's Rebellion. Though we may call ourselves rebels, but we truly are as a group of freedom fighters who seek to prevent Magnus from conquering all of Solemn. So you claim the rebellion is true? Yes, we are living proof. However, we have heard of the incidents regarding Blaine's army. We truly regret its loss. What do you wish from me? Nothing more than your support in fighting Magnus. We will take the front. If you can defend Blaine and supply us with what you ask is impossible. The royal riders have been decimated. The soldiers who have not been killed have been imprisoned. But not for your efforts today, Magnus would not have captured me, but killed me. And Blaine would be completely taken over. What little I have left must be spent on saving Blaine. As you can see, I am powerless to help you in your war. I see, so you aren't willing to help. Then my army and I will take our leave immediately. We will fight against Magnus on your lands, and you will be powerless to stop or aid us. We will drive Magnus out of Blaine's borders without your help. Then it will be written down in history. The 28th King of Blaine, he was of no help to the Rebellion. Wow! Way to guilt trip, Siegfried. Way to guilt trip. This is an odd parallel to uh, Elliwood and the Queen of Bern, except Siegfried's just a jerk about it. <laughs> How's everyone holding up, Anakin? 
Same as before. The weaker ones are still tired from the battle yesterday. I don't blame them. We've been fighting day in and day out, but if they can't keep up, we're going to have to leave them behind. Yeah, Siegfried's getting to be quite the jerk. Anakin? Hmm? Can you tell them? Yeah, sure. Um... Does anyone else see that hand right there? Do you know, Siegfried, I've found you. Commander Leopold? Why are you here? What of the king? The king is fine. He sent me here to give you this. What? His majesty had a change of heart. He apologizes for his weakness. His majesty had so had much care for General Zane. It was difficult to help his killers, even if it was a misunderstanding. Please accept this money and our humblest apologies. Now see, but we don't need it. Commander? Hmm? Oh, my apologies. I daydreaming is a poor habit of mine. Thank you for your offer, but we don't want to take money from Blaine. It needs to rebuild its military and help restore stability to its cities. Weren't you just asking for support, and when he said we couldn't give it to you, then he's like, well, fine, I'm just going to guilt trip you and then leave? And now you're going to refuse the gift that you pretty much just asked for? What the heck is with Siegfried's writing? Okay, people get frustrated at Kellogg. I'm frustrated at Siegfried. He's not like an edgelord, per se, but he's just so... He needs to have everything his way, and then he's going to be a jerk to everyone else if he doesn't get it. He's such a whiny brat. Then I will help you. I'll fight alongside you and help retake the cities of Blaine. If you had to travel to Elysia or Magnus after that, I'll continue to follow you. But I can't leave here without doing something to help you. His Majesty sent me for that reason. Let me join your army, General Siegfried. So now we have a choice. We can either accept Leopold or accept his money. Now, I thought that his money was more than it was, but really it's only 10,000. And you saw Leopold's stats at the start of the chapter. He's worth more than 10,000. I mean, you pay twice that much for freaking Farina, and you still have to train her up. Leopold's great right out of the box. Of course we're going to bring him in. All right, but if you fight alongside us, we can't accept money. We'll have to return- well, I'll have someone go back and return it to Blaine. That's unfortunate, but it seems you won't be persuaded to keep it. Welcome to our army, Leopold. It's a bit ragtag, and the bulk of our soldiers are inexperienced youth. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't. If I can fight on behalf of my nation, then I am happy. And that right there is chapter 21. Done in... Uh... Too many tries. Too many. I could have kept on going with my three-turn win. I think that's about as early as you can reasonably win without, like, an, a completely overpowered unit. But, because I wanted to visit all the chapters and you need Storm and Haas, I didn't. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I didn't like this chapter. I don't know how many people do. It's just very flat and plain and frustrating. You get swarmed too much and I don't like getting swarmed. The writing was, eh, Siegfried's getting to be a total jerk and that's not going to stop anytime soon. It's just going to get worse from now on. But... I digress. As always, I'm Mithril Zenith, signing out. Have a great day, everyone.